what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome I'm Amira Danielle and you just stepped into the glam office and in today's video we are going to be making a buffalo chicken dip I want to be showing you guys how I make that it's really quick really easy really simple so I want you guys to follow these quick and easy steps so you can figure out how to make this bomb ass dip too so without further ado if you want to see how I make my buff chick dip just keep on watching Okay guys, so now we're in the kitchen and I'll also show you how to make this buff chick dip. It's super easy and let's get into it. So the first thing is I want to show you guys my ingredients. So I am using a whole chicken, cheddar cheese, some buffalo wing sauce, buffalo ranch, cream cheese, and some blue cheese so the first thing that you really want to do is prep like with all the recipes that I have I do a lot of prep prior so it makes it way easier when I cook so the first thing I want to do is cut up the chicken shred it and then we'll get ready to start melting that with the cheese so I'm going to break apart the chicken um, I'm going to take the breasts off and some of the dark meat and then just shred it up and I'll show you guys how to do that. Let me wash my hands. So this is how I do this. I'm going to take this chicken, right? This is a whole chicken. I'm going to take it and just break it apart. So this is how I do it. This right here. Let me show you all closer. This... These right here, these are your breasts, and then this is like the dark meat, and then underneath is like the dark meat too. Flip it back. Literally what I'm going to do is take it and spread the, take the breasts apart like that. So that is one breast. And I'm gonna just go and like shred it up. Literally just breaking it up with my hands in the pot. And make sure you get like the rest of the meat off of the bone so you can see like the middle part right here. And you can just take that off. So now we got all of that off the bone. Right? Grayson, you can't have none of this. I was just stomach not acting right. So just fill up your pan to as much as you think, as much chicken as you think you need. You can actually use this whole thing. Like, I'm going to probably use the whole thing and exclude, like, the wings or something. Okay, so now you guys can see that I have all of the chicken, like, shredded up and ready to go so I'm gonna turn this pan on and we're just gonna like saute it a little bit by the way guys I have my oven already preheated to 350 so once all that stuff is done we're gonna throw it in this little bacon dish and just throw it right in the oven but right now I'm just gonna turn my heat on to like medium high um, I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and add it in And really the only thing, the, the, the main reason why I do this is because I want the um, the cheese to be like melted prior to me putting it in there. Um, but also just to get the flavor with, you know, just seasoning the chicken a little bit better. Doctoring this one up because it's not as great from the store. So really we're just doctoring up the chicken, melting the cheese, and adding like a little bit of more crunch on the chicken. Um, during this time. It's not like you're really cooking anything. Nothing's raw. Nothing needs to take a certain amount of time. It's really literally just until everything melts. So let's get into it. Classic. Can't cook without this. I needed some of that anyways. So let's do a little mix and really I just want the heat to start getting on it and I want the chicken to start crisping up. So now I'm just giving it a mix as you can see the smoke is coming up 
starting to get hot. I added a little bit more olive oil, um, but like I said, we're not really cooking this through. Guys, so I'm taking the whole cream cheese and I'm about to just dump it in there. I'm gonna mix that in. Okay guys, so it is officially time to take out the buff chick dip. I think it was like 15 or 20 minutes that went by. Really not that long. You only just want the stuff to melt like I was saying. And it's already melted. But this, um, it being in the oven now, is just going to give it a chance to like come together. Pretty much. It doesn't have to be in for super long. You could probably do 10 minutes. But enough for it to become solid. And let's see how it ours came out. at that that looks so good so let's plate this All right, you guys, so everything is done and I just plated our buff chick dip. So let's go in and try it. I got just the Tostito scoopers. And I just wanna try some and it's breaking. It's super hot. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong with buff chick dip. Ever. It's so good. Nice and hot. You can taste the blue cheese. Mm. Sometimes I think that the best part... No. I think that the best part about it is... The fact that it's spicy, like from the buffalo sauce and everything, like you get that vinegary taste, but it's not like jalapeno pepper type of thing. This is good. Try it if you haven't. I don't know who hasn't had buff chick dip, but this has been like quarantine bag number one for me. Um, So try the buff chick dip if you can. I feel like the recipe is really affordable. Um, you can definitely try it out if you can get your hands on any of these items. They're at your local grocery store. Make sure you're wearing a mask. Go out and get them. You don't need like all the expensive products. If you don't want to use the rotisserie chicken, use canned chicken. Use some leftover chicken that you have in the fridge. But you can definitely, definitely eat this for like a day or two probably. So. Try it out. Let me know. Leave some comments below. I'm so happy you stayed until the end of this video. Give me some likes. Give me some comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.